Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany here with another video to help you guys live a happy, healthy, awesome life in a wheelchair. And today I'm gonna roll with another pee video because clearly you guys are very interested in how I pee. Uh, the videos that I've been doing about pee are very popular. So today I'm going to show you the system that I use uh, so that I can pee at night without having to get out of bed because it's a lot of work to get out of bed as a paraplegic. It's a lot of work just to pee as a paraplegic and having to get out of bed and go pee in the bathroom just never seemed like a very exciting option to me. When I was first paralyzed, if you've been watching my channel for a while, and especially if you've watched my introductory video, you know that I spent four years not doing any of my own self-care. So at nighttime, I had a little button pager to page my mom, even when I was like 17 years old, which is so bad, sorry mom, um, to get out of bed to come and help me pee in the middle of the night. She would come usually just once a night um, and help me pee in the middle of the night. But then when I learned how to do everything myself, the last thing I wanted to do was get out of bed and go into the bathroom and pee in the bathroom. So I figured out a system where I could just pee in bed. And it's not a complicated or fancy system. It's probably one that many of you use uh, as well. It's just me peeing into a container that I keep in my bedside table in the drawer uh, and then I put a lid on it. So I'll go through the whole routine, uh, getting ready for bed, making sure that I have all of my stuff in order to pee in the middle of the night, and then show you guys kind of how I do it. So let's get started. All right, guys, so this is me wheeling up to my bed to go to bed uh, and showing you guys the drawer that I have stocked with the things that I need to go pee in the middle of the night. So I always have my uh, containers there that uh, I use, and they're just like regular old Glad reusable plastic containers um, and then I have my lubricant and then I have blue pads and then I have these catheters Ugh. these catheters that I use there we go that are actually lure and pediatric catheters they are 10 French so super small and these are actually the catheters that I used when I first came out of the hospital when I was 13 and I just kept using them I didn't even know that there was anything different uh, to use until I got to be older and then you know found out there was like much larger uh, sizes of catheters and different catheters to use I just always kept using those the reason that I use these still at night is because they're a lot more flexible as you'll see in the video when I'm cathing I kind of have to bend the catheter to go into the container and the other catheters that I use during the day just aren't flexible enough uh, to do that. The last thing that goes in my drawer is this case that I have always in my backpack that I keep wipes and catheters in and um, it keeps everything that I would normally use during the day in there. So I keep this in the drawer and it has my wipes in it that I'm gonna need for the night and then in this top thing it also has my suppositories and some gloves that I use for my bowel routine in the morning. So I just take that out of my bag, make sure that it's stocked with wipes every night, and then I just slide it into the drawer alongside everything else. And then this is what the drawer looks like when I go to bed. So I close it maybe that much and just sort of leave it open uh, for the night. So now I'll show you guys how I get on the bed and what I do in the middle of the night. Okay, so I'm gonna hop up on my bed now. The other thing that I always have in my room is this garbage right beside my bed for all the garbage at night, so I forgot to mention that. Um, I always sleep with a blue pad under me in bed. So the first thing that I do, and I'll just scooch the covers down a little bit more so that I can have a full bed to get on. I always sleep with this underneath me just in case I have an accident which I don't normally, uh, but it's also slippery. So like I can slide around on the bed a little better uh, with the blue pad under me. So all right, so on the bed, I'm gonna move this big giant pillow and then I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna move you guys so you're at a better angle. I just wanted to show you how I transferred, so. I'm laying down clearly when I'm sleeping, so I'll roll on my back and I just let my legs 
flop open like that. And then on the side of, in my nightstand, I just grab my containers that I have here, my lovely containers. And I have a mirror that I use because I need to be able to see when the pee stops coming out of the catheter. So I put that in between my legs and then I grab my little cath container and a catheter and then I open the catheter and I lay it just like on my chest like that. I have the the lubricant in here so I would grab it from inside this case and then I just pop the lid open and then I put the lubricant on the paper of the catheter wrapper just a little bit like that and then I put that back in I grab a couple wipes and normally I'm not wearing <laughs> pants I'm just wearing underwear because I sleep in underwear and uh, tank top so I wouldn't normally be unzipping and then I just calf like I normally would roll the catheter in the mucal jelly the lubricant and then in it goes and then I wipe the lubricant off my fingers with the wipe and I pick up my mirror and I use it to look down to see when the pee stops. I have a lamp on this side of my bed that I always turn on and I kind of face this way so that the lamp reflection reflects in the mirror and I can kind of see the pee coming out of the catheter. So the reason that I use these really small flexible catheters is because the container is sitting in between my legs. I'm cathing, so imagine this is my body and I need to bend the catheter from it coming out of my body into the container and the catheter, this catheter is super, super flexible. So I just bend it, hold it in my fingers like this so that the pee comes out of me and into the container. So uh, if you guys know of another really flexible catheter that's larger in size, let me know in the comments because this takes a really long time to pee sometimes. But yeah, these are pediatric catheters, really, really small. Um, and I just use them because they're super flexible. When I'm done, I just slide the used catheter into the, the, can, the package again. And I just sort of fold it up with the used catheter in it. Then I take the lid, pop it on with a container full of pee, and I make sure it's really tight. And then I just put it back in my nightstand. I use another wipe to wash my hands. I just wash my hands. And then I take the package, kind of fold the package of the wipe around the, uh, the package of the catheter around the wipe. And then I chuck it in the garbage. So I put everything back in my nightstand. And then I just leave it there and roll over again, hair out of the way, and go back to sleep. And then I might do that two times uh, in the middle of the night, sometimes three. Sometimes I have to pee a lot, which is super annoying. But I'm definitely grateful that I don't actually have to get out of bed in order to pee. It's gross getting up in the morning because I have a uh, sometimes two containers full of pee um, that I have to dump in the morning, which is kind of gross. And if I have to pee a lot in the middle of the night and they fill up, then I have to dump them, um, before I can pee again in the night, which rarely, rarely, rarely ever happens, but it does sometimes. So that's the whole process. Not super complicated, but something that maybe somebody is curious about. Well, that's it for another pee video, guys. I hope you found it super helpful, and if you did, please give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment below. And if you know somebody that this video will be helpful for, please share it with them. If you have not subscribed and you would like more videos about how to live a happy, healthy, awesome life in a wheelchair, just hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, see ya. For those of you that watched all the way through, I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek. I'm so excited about the giveaway that I'm doing next week, so mark your calendars. Uh, I'm not even gonna say anything about it. I'm just gonna show you the box. 
um, and then let you guys see next week. So stay tuned.